Hello, today we'll talk about the round robin scheduling algorithm and we'll give an example uh, to see it work in action. Uh, in general, for the round robin scheduling uh, scheduler, we're worried about fairness across the processes. And so a process is given a certain amount of time before the operating system interrupts it and said, well, you're done, somebody else gets a turn. That amount of time is called the time quantum. So let's take an example where we have a time quantum of 20 units. And let's see if we can schedule these four processes, which require the following CPU bursts. Process one requires 53, all the way down process four requires 24 CPU to finish. So round robin basically says, let's cycle through giving all the processes 20, 20 time units until they're done. So here I've listed the four processes and time moves to the right here. And what we'll do is uh, starting at time zero, the scheduler will choose process one. Let's assume they all came at the same time. And it will give process one the quantum, 20 milliseconds. So up until time 20, process one runs. Notice it required 53 milliseconds, and so it still requires 33 milliseconds to run. After 20 milliseconds, the uh, operating system says you've had enough time, an interrupt happens. The process moves from the running state to the ready state, a context switch occurs, and the new process gets scheduled, in this case, process two. Process two then runs from 20 all the way through, well, it doesn't need all 20 milliseconds, and so it only takes 17. So it will only run until time 37. Now process two is complete. It moves to the terminated state. As you recall, it becomes a zombie until the uh, parent cleans up its state. Now process three. Process three will run next, and it requires 68, so it'll use the full 20 millisecond quantum, taking us to 57. Process four will then run. It will use 20 milliseconds, taking us to 77. Now we loop back around and we look to see who's next. Well, there's nobody after process four, so process one gets to run again. Process one has still 33 milliseconds to run, so it will use the full 20 millisecond quantum to 97. Process two is done. Process three goes next. It took 20, so it'll go again to 117. Process 4 now runs. It's used 20, so it only requires 4 milliseconds. So it will run from 117 to 121. Uh, back to process 1. It still has 13 milliseconds left. Now, luckily, on a computer, we don't run out of space. Here, we're getting a little tight for space, but we'll make it fit. This will go to 134 and it will be done. It looks like all processes have finished except for process three, which has run 40 milliseconds. It has 28 left. It will take the last time until it finishes. So just assume that finishes where it does. Notice this algorithm is fair across all the processes. No processes is given priority, and they each get the same time quantum if they need it. Let's take a look at the wait time associated with this algorithm. Remember, the wait time is the amount of time that the process could run, but it's in the ready-to-run queue. So here, process one waits from 20 to 77, which is 57 uh, time units, and then from 97 to 121, and that's 24 time units. So a total of 81 time units. Process two just waited 20 time units. Process three waits 37, and then this chunk of time between 57 and 97, which is 40, and then between 117 and 134, which is 17, and that adds up equaling 94. Finally, process four. Process four waited 57 units before it got scheduled, and then another 7740, so 97 units. If we add those wait times together and divide by four, we see the average wait time is 73 milliseconds. Let's calculate one other metric using uh, this example, and that's turnaround time. 
Turnaround time is the amount of time from when the process enters the system to when it exits the system. <clears throat> process one, they all entered at zero. Process one exited at 134. Process two exited at 37. <coughs> Excuse me. Process three exited at 162. And process four exited at 121. <coughs> Average turnaround time, we add those up and divide by four, is 114. One of the key things about the round robin is its fairness. Thank you.